is it about society that tells women that they should hide their problems, that they shouldn't show their pain, their hurt, they should keep it hidden? Well, today on DKW we'll be doing just the opposite, because we believe that a problem shared amongst friends can become a problem solved. This is DKW. Welcome to DKW. That's right, my name is Shireen and I'm your main host for today. But I'm not alone in the studio. I have with me a snazzy, sophisticated stylista. It is Sam Dixon. Wow, I love it, Shireen. <laughs> you really are my good friend. Oh, I, I try. It. Absolutely fabulous. Happy and to be here. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> and joined with her as well is someone who is cool, calm and collected, but is a little bit controversial too. It's our Kim Powell. Wow. And one more DKW lady that's with us today is a very emotional, mothery type, but she's very mellow. She's cool. She's Mary Jo. <laughs> So ladies, we've been very, very busy in the past couple of yes, weeks. Yes, we have indeed. Tell us, Sam, what have we been up to? Well, we've had our um, lipstick show and we've had Westfield. Westfield, that's right, we were live at Westfield, We were live we? at Westfield and it was fabulous. We had so much fun on the day, didn't we? Competitions mm. and singing and all sorts. Definitely, definitely. Can I ask, has anybody got any comments from, or feedback from that day? Comments. I've got some feedback here from some lovely ladies. One of the young ladies is called Tamara, and she said, great show, ladies. Well done for your efforts. Mm. And lots of kisses. <laughs> well, that was really nice. And we've got another comment from our a lady called Jennifer Allison. She said, fantastic show on Saturday, ladies. My request... Uh, my, my request for myself truly had, I truly had fun and a knowledgeable evening. Aww. So, <laughs> she learnt a lot, no doubt. Lovely. And we have Lisa, Lisa Hodginson. I love Maxine Zumba. <laughs> so did you I. Remember she the Zumba? Fabulous. God, I'm She's sure really I lost good. a few pounds that day. <laughs> so, so she really enjoyed that. It was full of energy, fun, and so motivating. It really, really it was. It really, I mean, really was. And we have we have a picture there yes. for everyone to see how much fun we had there in Westfield. And Maxine fabulous. was just one of our um, guests that came on on the live show. Also, when we had um, the Love Life Lipstick event at the Rainbow yes. Theatre, which was really good, hundreds of people came down for That's that. Right. I want to shout out to uh, Mr. Amon and Bosse, his um, next door neighbour, who also came on that day. Yeah. And I promised I'd give a shout out, so there you go. Um, <laughs> we also had on that day um, Jackie Marston. Do yes. you remember when she was talking about yes. the curse of Lovely? That's right. What did you get from that, guys? Do you remember? Oh, very deep, wasn't it, Mary Jo? Yes. Gosh. Uh, when I, uh, well, it touched you deeply, didn't it? It touched me it? Deep, it deeply, touched yeah, 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 because I, I suffer from that curse uh -huh. yes. of being lovely, be us. lovely, and uh, not being able to say no, you know, always saying yes to everything <laughs> that comes your way, <laughs> and then when finally you reach that point that nothing else, you can't do anything else, and be enough, is like, enough. enough is enough, <laughs> then you is like, ah, and then everybody's like, where? Where all of this came from? Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> everything it was inside of you. So yeah. that's what she talked about. It was wonderful. Well, wonderful that's something wonderful. I don't suffer from. My <laughs> yeah, yeah, no yeah. will be no, and my yes will be yes. <laughs> but I completely understood it. I'm, I must say, I'm a bit like MJ as well. Although I'm getting better at saying mm. no as the time has gone by, and by. But sometimes you just feel you can't say no. Yeah. And that's what she was saying. She was, exactly. she was just uncovering that, you know, why it can be a curse is that it's too, it can be very stressful yeah. for the person that's saying yes. Mm. Yes, especially if inside grudgingly you're saying you're no, saying that's no. when it becomes yeah, the problem. Where the problem lies. And I think as well, one thing that is that it can actually not just put a risk your 
own life and your own sanity, but as well the relationships you have with all those around you, isn't it? Yes. Because there are moments that maybe you're going to be snappy, you're not going to be mm. as lovely as you yeah, normally because you're, are. You're because it's just too much for you. Inside you're saying, no, and not even that, I imagine someone who's really over busy already. Yeah. Mm. They've got a lot of chores or a lot of things that duties that they do encounter with in their life. And then they keep adding to it. Mm. Of course, one of those um, duties is going to give way. Yeah. So that can cause a big problem. Indeed, indeed. What were your other highlights of the show? For those who didn't, were unable to attend at home, so we had Maxine Zumba, we had Musuki. Do you remember she was giving yeah. some makeup oh, tips that was on how fabulous. you can get what? yourself ready in, in you five minutes? What? Five minutes, that's yeah. right. Yeah, did you see that makeover that she did was absolutely transformational. Oh, there she is, there she is. Look at her. Oh, Musuki. That was really, really transformational. I think we had some hairstylists there. There was yes. one of the girls, and she actually did um, um, a, someone's hair. And with the finished result was absolutely lovely. Yeah. She formed a beautiful bun. Mm -hmm. And she, she did it quite quickly as well. It was amazing. Yeah. The speed of how everything was was very important because I remember you, t you two on the live show were having a little bit of a Barney yeah. because I remember MJ was saying, look, you know, I find it really, I struggle. You were saying you struggle to, you know, to really look nice all the time. All to the make time, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Sammy was saying, no, you need to, you know, yeah, invest I'm in yourself. So, you know, and it's, it's so important, I was, I was actually saying, for us to do this because it's also helping your own self-esteem. You know, it's it's taking quality time out to invest in yourself. And it doesn't have to take longer. You know, people think that, oh, I have to put on makeup every morning. It's going to take me an hour, two hours. I'm not, how am I going to get to you work on time? You do feel like that sometimes. But it, it doesn't. I mean, I mean, um, our makeup artist proved that yeah, it she doesn't did. have to take that long. I mean, I, I can take 10 minutes, my makeup's done. Trust <laughs> <laughs> me. Like, I, I, I do put me on a test one of the days. <laughs> I'll show you how quick it can be done. I do agree with her. You know, even if I'm one of those people that sometimes is like, oh my God, it's just too much to do in the morning. And sometimes I'm rushing. And sometimes I'm still at home and I'm already receiving a call for something that I have to do at work and I have to rush. But I do agree with what Sam said, that when I put my makeup on, when I do my hair, you know, I feel you bad. You feel yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah. You look it's presentable. Exactly. Not even that. People will respect you mm. more. Yes. People will, you, you, you're, you're your own point of contact. So how you want to portray to other people, that's how you need to yeah. look. If you're going to turn up in work with your hair just washed wet, still wet, you know, your makeup <laughs> not on yet, people are going to think, gosh, yeah. they're not going to take you seriously. They're not going to understand oh, you've got kids at shower. home. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't know she's had a shower. Yeah, she had a bit of a wash. They don't know that she's clean. <laughs> you know, that's about it. But they won't take you seriously. Imagine Indeed. turning up to a business yeah, meeting. Hair, yeah. You know, you walk in the office, <laughs> round the business conference table, and you walk, you walk in undone. Yeah. yeah unkept. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But can I say that one of um, one of the biggest highlights of our live show was the male panel. Uh, yeah, remember? that's what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. that was such fun. <laughs> yeah. Your hubby was on it and he was really giving yeah, it a lot right. to I say. I was on that part of the show, so you guys have to call me. I was <laughs> backstage. Oh, she was hiding in the background. Oh, but he, 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 actually was, he actually spoke about you. Oh. And he actually said how wonderful you were. Oh. You oh, paid him, didn't you, MJ? Yeah. You paid him well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she kept him really, she kept him really sweet before the show. Very well trained. <laughs> she, knows how to look she knows how to look after her husband. Oh. Us women, we need to know how to do this, you know. But it was good. I mean, they cover stuff of like um, high heels. They couldn't understand why we go through so much by putting on high heels when we just can't put our feet inside of them, but we wear them anyway, yeah. and they would prefer that we would be more comfortable. That was a bit of a shocker. And there was also talking about a woman who was too loud. Yes, they didn't yeah. like that Do you remember they were saying they, they don't like, like they don't want um, women. Who women who speak too much, mm. people, women who speak too loud, they didn't yeah. like that. Yeah, so it was quite interesting to see that there. And we've actually, view. we've got um, a previous show where we had them on, on um, DKW.me. So you can also go to that show if you missed the live show, but at least you can watch that male panel one. Yeah. But I must say, guys, the highlight for me had to be the balloon. Do you yes. remember? Oh. Yes. Who wants to tell the viewers who couldn't come what that balloon was all about? Sam, do you want to say? Well, it was basically, you know, sometimes we have certain flaws in our life, things that we 
think that we we're not we're not good at mm -hmm. you know things that we think that we're failing in areas of our life where we're not pro we're not productive we're we're not progressing in these areas and it was basically to say that you know there's nothing that is impossible for any of us women it doesn't Indeed. matter who you are it doesn't matter what's your position what's your status single married you know manager to shop assistants it doesn't matter mm. you can face anything in life mm -hmm. you know you can get over so we had the opportunity what they did they got a balloon and you was to write down whatever it is that you think that you holds know, you back what holds you back yeah. what you're not doing well in yeah yes yeah so they wrote down on the balloon and then the big moment <laughs> <laughs> big moment came where you got your earring and you went liberating it was very liberating very liberating very liberating it was a nice and action wasn't it yeah and we had a lot of positive mm -hmm. I, we after the program i spoke to a lady she came to the show for the first time and she actually wrote down on the balloon everything mm. meaning everything in her life is going is not going well meaning her love life her finance mm. her family she thought that she was not you know doing well in any areas of her life so this was to to show her that okay maybe you think that everything is is not going well but it doesn't have to remain like that mm -hmm. you know you are gonna use the program learn things about yourself move forward and start to take positive steps forward in your life because you can do it that's it and she popped it she, yeah. <laughs> really oh we nice. all love bursting that balloon <laughs> it's it's really nice. but as we know that it doesn't just stop there does it and that's what this show is all about today we are reading we've received lots of emails where people are saying look we love watching your program and we notice that you often like to talk about issues that women are going through in a very down-to-earth way and try to offer solutions and that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be reading some of the emails we've been receiving some of the Facebook comments comments of issues problems dilemmas dramas yeah. that women are going through we're going to talk about it here we're not experts but like i said earlier we believe by discussion by discussing it right. the options yeah. we can come up with a solution and it can help so we're inviting you today feel free to call in on 0207 686 6300 you can email us your comments at dkw.me and of course if you had any feedback from the day of the, of the live show feel free to mention it on our fa Facebook page, A Different Kind of Woman. So, before we go to a break, I've already got one scenario. Wow, mm. come on, fire away, Shireen. Okay, let's get it here. I, befriend, I befriended someone who I've always, always seen alone. We became friends, but now it's like she's trying to steal my life. She copies my style, the way I speak, and now she wants to steal my man. Ooh. Let me repeat that. Ooh. <laughs> now she wants to steal my man. <clears throat> Help! Get me out of this situation. Okay, I know that this is going to be hot for you guys. It is a, it's a hot one. I, it's a very I'm going hot to go one. to a break. Give us your comments on this as well. Feel free to call us in again. 0207 686 6300 before you hear what we've got to say after this break. Welcome back, and before the break, we were talking to you about scenarios that we've been receiving from you via email and through our Facebook, real life scenarios that you would like help for. And today, the DKW presenters will be talking about different kinds of options you can take in order to solve this problem. Let's just remind you about the clip we just spoke about before the break. Um, so I became friends with this girl, and since then she's been copying everything that I do, my hairstyles, the way that I speak, even the way that I walk. Um, now she's trying to stay one man. Can you get me out of this, please? Help. Wow, that is so awful. awful. Isn't it just? It is. <laughs> very, I mean, I've, I've been through something not as deep, but I have been through something very, very similar. Mm. And because of my experience, I was able to help a young lady who I was actually having a conversation with on Facebook. And she actually said this particular scenario to the, to the exact thing she 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 um she befriended a friend became very close with the young lady and then what happened was suddenly this woman starts to dress like her speak like her mm -mm. everything to the point that obviously she, she started to go after the, the um lady's husband and this is where it became so bad 
she she had bad terrible arguments with the, with the other with the woman and um, really broke up their friendship but what happened was she had so much grudges and bad feelings and hatred towards this person you know because how do you get rid of a person like this out of your yeah, life the and then how do you deal with it after so she had to also deal with the scenario but the after effect of how it left her mm -hmm. how it made her feel and because i had experienced it myself um i told her that one of the first things that i would have advised her to do was that definitely she needs to cut the cut, yeah. cut yeah. the relationship with this mm -hmm. with this woman but not to the point that you hate the person you have grudges against the person you wish the person bad because that's not good you know this this mm. person you've got to have compassion because obviously there's something not missing from this person's mm. life mm. why they think they need to use you as a role model mm. and imitate you to the point that they think that even your partner they want mm -hmm. so i said to her, the other thing that you have to try to do as well is to forgive the per cut the person off yes mm -hmm. use wisdom yeah yeah but you also need to forgive the person as well you know understand that this woman does have a problem you know I mean, and, I, and one of the things I said, be very, very sure that you are taking care of your husband. Very strong stuff mm -hmm. indeed. But Do you Kim, know what I mean? I want to hear from you, honestly, because I know that you just tell it like it is. <laughs> if, you were in, if you were in these shoes, what would you do? I have to say, I understand what Samantha says, but I cannot show the same kind of <laughs> level of compassion mm -hmm. and understanding she is. Mm -hmm. She's been saying, mm -hmm. first of all, I think you have to be really careful not to allow somebody to come so close into your yeah. life. You can have friends and you can have good friends and you can get along with them so well. But to let somebody into your life that much, mm -hmm. I think is a big no-no. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And as much as you, you, you know the person's got a problem, but yet still they're stepping on your territory yeah. because they're after your man. And mm -hmm. that's serious. Mm -hmm. Because we can be friends, you can dress like me, you can like my style, but now you're after my man it goes into it's like breaking the boundaries it's a different territory now mm. how would you cut it off what would you find literally her to do? i would i would literally cut it <laughs> literally. off and i think we couldn't be friends anymore no yeah we were not going to be friends don't come near to my family um stay away from me we are not friends we can have no form of and i'm not gonna build any kind of i'm sorry okay we're not doing that we're mm. just not talking we're not friends you stay in your corner i stay in my corner and hopefully we can get along with our life because a certain boundary was crossed mm. it's not like your your brother your, your sisters no. it's it's worse it's than that. Gone past it's, that it's the person that's become obsessed and focused on you and that's quite dangerous because you can be a stalker yeah. imagine because if she be. wants your life that much and, and she can actually cut you out the but picture the yeah, thing well, is, there, 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 there has been known women who this has happened to yeah. and the, the husband has actually gone off with the with the women this is why it's these dangerous. things do happen so that's why it is dangerous and that's mm. why it's wise to cut off the person as well mm. and it's important that you have a good relationship with your husband mm. because if this was to happen you need to know that yeah you yeah. know you can trust mm. your husband Husband, you mm. have a secure relationship with him mm -hmm. and that you know that even if this was to happen your, your husband you, there's no chance of mm. your husband going off with this person yeah. or there's any risk factors mm. do you know what I mean because look if a person is directly targeting your husband imagine she sees him where, where when you're not around <laughs> <laughs> you know these things yeah because she, she seduces your partner or something crazy mm. like that you know? Wow. Well, these well are quite deep. <laughs> deep in, deep indeed. Okay, if you've got other, if you are at home, sitting at home thinking, mm, but I don't know, I think I might just deal with it a little bit different than that, feel free to give us a call. Call us on 0207 686 6300 and we would love to hear from you. Now, Kim, you've got another scenario, isn't it? Right. Share with us. You know, do you know that age old scenario? And I hear this all the time. <laughs> Can men and women be friends? Well, watch this and tell me what you think afterwards. I'll get it. Hello? Hi, Emily. Yeah, uh, you, you tracked him down. Hold on one second. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, uh, we're, just, we're just having dinner. Uh, yeah, uh, sure, hold on. Uh, she wants to say hi. Hold on. Hi, Emily. 
Hi. Hello, everyone. So, who am I saying hello to? Well, uh, I don't know about who's here, but I can tell you for damn sure who's not here, and that's Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should hope not. Ross knows better than that by now. You know what? Uh, Rachel is here. She's there. Oh, yeah, there, there she is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's here. Ross, take me off speakerphone. Hi. How could you do this to me? I thought I'd made my feelings about Rachel perfectly clear. Look, Emily, I'm just having dinner with my friends, OK? You obviously can't keep away from her. Emily, that's ridiculous. Look, I'm, I'm moving for you. I'm cutting friends out of my life for you. Please, just get on the plane and come to New York, OK? You'll see. You're the only person I want to be with. I'll feel better when I'm there, and I can know where you are all the time. Well, it, you can't know where I am all the time. Look, this marriage is never going to work if you don't trust me. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay. Well, well. Well, well, indeed. Tell but us. In this case, you know, it's because I know this is just friends and but things like that. But this happens in real life. This happens in real life, you know, life. and the case is like on the day that he was supposed to get married with Emily, on the moment that he it, it, it needed to say, I take you, Emily, he said, I take you, Rachel. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. So, indeed. <laughs> Wouldn't you go crazy? Like I'm this. sorry, yeah. but I, would, I wouldn't want my I'd, husband as well being I'd, friends. No. I don't think I would even get married with him knowing I that. I couldn't. I think that is such a, an intimate moment yeah. when you are saying your vows. You really need to be sure of what you are saying <laughs> and yeah. who you are saying them to. So <laughs> that already is a problem. You yeah, know, I, so. I would feel very strange that my husband yeah. has a female as a best friend or, you know. I remember a friend of mine went through a very similar situation and she she was engaged to get married, had a, a date, so she did get married event, eventually. But her husband's best friend was a female. And he was actually still, while they were courting, he was still visiting the best friend regular. Oh my you know, gosh. When, when the best friend, like she'd be at home, they'd be having dinner, and then the best friend would call, oh, I'm in a problem, in tears, and he would, Oh, I've got to go. I've got to go and see her because she's, uh. you know, my she's it's his best friend. I, I can't just leave her. I've got, I've got to go. My days. How do you do with it? Yeah, but I've got, I, I couldn't. What is the actual scenario? What is she okay. asking? I've got a scenario yeah. here. Um, we have a man who writes. Please help me. Oh, so it's from a guy. Yeah. Mm. Wow. All right. I've been friends with this girl for as long as I can remember. She knows everything about me. I keep telling my fiance. She's just a friend, but she doesn't buy it. She doesn't want her at our wedding. I don't get her. Oh, I think that's a bit strong that I wanted her at the, mar at the wedding. Though. You know, yeah. oh, you, know you tell us. But too. can men and women be friends? This is the thing. Now, is, uh, uh, can a man see another woman as his sister? Because that's the only friends we can really have here. Yeah. Can he see her <laughs> as his sister? Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. Yes. And as your sister, does your sister call you all the time, demand no. of you. No. See, this is where the boundaries get crossed yes. because if, she, if he doesn't see her as a sister, he's seeing her and he doesn't see her as a male friend because she's not. Mm -hmm. So what does he see her as? Is there that in-between relationship that exists? Mm -hmm. That you're not a sister but you're not a male friend? So what are you? And I can understand any woman being cross about that because at, at the end of the day, men and women are different they're meant to attract to each other mm -hmm. if you're not friend if you're not sisters or brother and sister so what is going on there because there is some form of attraction there because she needs him mm -hmm. he needs her why do you need each other doesn't she have a husband well you Doesn't know what have a, yeah. some people might just call up and say or might just think do you know what this is modern day society society mm. and people men and women they have you know friends relationships yeah. all the time mm. it doesn't mean it has to be intimate they are just literally friends mm. of another sex and that's it and they get mm. along very happily and others might say well actually i think it's the other woman the woman who's got the issue who's is the one the that's problem. insecure mm. he's got the issue yeah. why can't she trust the guy because sometimes you know 
we are women, so we're always suspicious of other women because we yes. know how women are. Exactly. Yeah. Na- you know, naturally. Well, you know, something that maybe it could can be done as well is maybe you can befriend that woman. Maybe that woman. But because it depends well, on the relationship. I think they that's have. what should happen. Yeah, though, I think it, it depends on the relationship they but have if, as well. But if the woman is really his friend. She would back off exactly. when she sees he's exactly. got a woman. Exactly. She would not be calling him at ridiculous hours and demanding time from him. No. If she really mm. is his friend, she would be able to understand that. So what do you reckon the guy should actually do in this situation? Cut her off? What are we telling him to do? How can we solve his problem? I think, this. what I think he should do, if she truly is his friend, she needs to understand the issues that the he's going through with his because they're going to get married. So obviously, he loves this woman. Mm, and if she is his friend, she has to understand, OK, I want my friend to be happy. Let me back off and let them get through their marriage. And afterwards, we can revisit this. To me, that's what a true friend would do, because you want your friend to be happy. You're not going to want to force yourself into that relationship knowing that it's upsetting his fiance. Mm. But don't you but I don't think, think it should be revisited. No, yeah. I, don't, I don't agree with it being revisited. I think mm. from day one, I think they need to speak... You know, the two friends, the male, the women, they mm. need to discuss it and they need to say, look, this is the relationship. This was our mm. relationship before. But mm. I was single before. Mm. But now I'm not going to be single. I'm mm. going to be married. So therefore our relationship cannot be the same mm. anymore. Mm. I think as well, you know, like for example, the, the, uh, we don't have his name, isn't it? Mm. Maybe when he goes out with this friend, maybe he should bring his fiancée with him, you know, to show that, you know, I am now with this woman yes you are my best friend but this woman can be your best friend as well so okay all right so do you agree with (laughs) sam do you agree with kim do you agree with mary joe please give us your give us your thoughts give it have you got another opinion give us a call (laughs) 0207 686 6300 so mj what have you got for us well i have a really nice um, scenario as well and we have a little clip to show you as well. See if you can spot what the problem is. <laughs> I'm nervous. Don't be nervous, he's gonna love you. I'm still nervous. Oh my God, I cannot believe you grew up here. What, no helicopter pad? Oh no, this one out back. Kevin! Oh, oh God, Mom, you look fantastic. I want to introduce you to someone. Mom, Charlie. Very nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Please sit down. You're going to be my mother-in-law. I know. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let me read what this view- viewer wrote to us. Tell us. DKW, help. How do I deal with my future mother-in-law? It's almost like she hates everything I love. For example, I want an intimate wedding. We have everything planned out, but she wants the opposite. (laughs) I understand that I have to embrace the family, but it's like the whole world and it's dog. dog. (laughs) Worst thing is, I feel like she doesn't get her way. We are stuck. How do I deal with her? (laughs) (laughs) Do you know something? With some cultures, that is quite acceptable you know the mother-in-law having so much say in the relationship mm. I mean I I mean with my mother-in-law my mother-in-law lives in the West Indies so I don't really have that much contact with mm. us I've never experienced that but I've come across a lot of women who marry into certain cultures that that is a big deal mm-hmm. a big deal the mother and they can't even talk to the um, partner about it because that's how we do it. It's just the way it is. That's, That's how, how it is. is. So, but how does she deal with it? I, I think, <laughs> I definitely think that this is where the husband... Oh, 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 hold on a second there. Oh. We have a caller. Wow. Oh. Sam, would you like to take this call? Okay, then. Hello there, caller. Hello there, caller. Oh, hello. Hi, what's your name? Hello, my name's Mary in the West Midlands. Right, hi there, Mary from the West Midlands. I'm from the West Midlands, by the way. (laughs) Right, can I have your comment, please? Yes, it was the comment about uh, can men and women be friends. And what do you think? And um, I was just, I just, you know, turned the channel and and heard you talking about it. Very interesting. Yes, they can, I think. Um, Okay. And 
if the man has had this woman as a friend for a long time, then his fiancée would have met her, surely, mm -hmm. in the relationship. Okay. Hopefully, yes. Therefore, <laughs> she would have been, no doubt, invited to the wedding as a friend. Yes. And the man really yes. should, should hold his guns and say, she's just a friend, she's coming to the wedding. The friend then should also know that if she's a true friend, like his male friends, she's not going to ring him all the time. That's right. And, um, you know, and all out, and he's not going to run because he doesn't do that with his male friends, so he won't do that with his female friends. Right. And that, that's it quite simply, really. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree with you, Mary. Life, I, I think, think if my husband had it, I thought it would be completely <laughs> be different. I, I did hear what she said. She said if, if it's her husband, it might be a bit different, she says. Oh, <laughs> so you think if you was in that situation, you wouldn't take it so likely? No, actually, to be honest. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is it. This is one of those situations <laughs> where <laughs> I think you, 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 don't, you don't deal with it until you actually go through it yourself. It's easier yeah, said than it done. Seems, it just seems that just listening, you'd think that, you know, friends, friends are forever, really. You know, marriages come and go. Um, and if she is a true friend, then, then she is a yeah. true friend um, and mm. his current, surely by going down the aisle with this woman, yes. um, you know, he's showing his love for her. That's and, right. Um, you know, this, this fi fiancé should accept it, really. Exactly. I it's hard, though, isn't it? It is hard. And like you say, it's until you've gone through it yourself, you, you don't really know how, yeah. how you feel. And you don't yeah. know his history with you as to what makes you feel like you can't really trust that relationship. Yeah. I mean, but if we think about the other, the other, the other party, we think, ooh, you know, it's not nice. I don't think it would be nice for any person to experience that. But as we, as we go on, we just have to yeah, keep going. Yeah, but then again, you know, I mean, men, men are funny creatures, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Aren't they just? <laughs> aren't they just? <laughs> aren't they just? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mary. Thank oh, you so much, much for your Mary. call. That's wonderful. Oh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's a lovely balance. Yeah. A lovely wow. balanced answer, I would have yes, thought. Yes, definitely. I <laughs> but I love how she her. says, I'll only do it if it's not my husband. <laughs> 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 okay, back that. to the, the, the mother -in problem mother-in-law. What do we do? How do we sort this one out? What does she do? I mean, I think the husband needs to have a big say in this. Yeah, really. I because agree. It's, it's his mother. So, I mean, this is where you... Because how awful would that be where if it's the fiancé who has to take control of this situation and deal with it herself, mm. that's going to be so unfair for her. You know, because then you're going to have... He might be upset because she's, she's, you know, may seem as if she's disrespecting the mother because she's not mm, happy with mm. things being done. Yep. And it may have a, 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 a not a very nice flavour. But I just think that the man, the husband to be should be the one to deal with his mother. Do you know... Um, oh, do, 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 no, go ahead. No, no, go I ahead, agree with Sam. I think like this, you know, your, your wedding day is something very intimate, yes. very private. Yes. It should be the happiest day of your life. Mm -hmm. After all, you're going to start a new life with someone you love and for the rest of your life. So it should be, you know, a day that you're going to feel happy, comfortable, mm -hmm. you know, that you will always remind yourself of I was really happy on that mm. day that day my happiness mm. truly started however it's true you cannot go in that day join a new family already with problems mm -hmm. yes so I think you know you have to come to a middle yeah. ground to and an I think agreement the groom the groom does need to get involved yes. you know he needs to go to his mom and said okay we can reach this point, we can go as far as this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you know, I want my fiance to be happy yes. as well. So, you know, <laughs> and the decision. No, no. I've got no, so much to say. Say it, say it, say it, say it. But hold on, let me just see what does Kim the Gassi do? Yeah, it's just like, just like this. I'm, I'm Tell sorry. me. Now, what you said true about uh, Mary Jo, entering into a relationship with problems. Mm. You have to be so careful. I mean, the ideal scenario would be, yeah, you tell no, your you partner and he's going to say, yes, mom, this is my wife and I'm going to stick by my wife and my wife <laughs> says this and we're going to have this wedding. This is so what we you want. And all your family, you're not coming. Mm. That's not going to happen. No. <laughs> now, let's be real about it. Let's be real. Because you remember, you're just entering in this relationship. You're just entering. You're at the beginning stages. In the future, you might be able to put your foot down like mm. that. But at the beginning, I don't think you're going to be able to do this. I'm not saying that you must let your mother-in-law railroad over it. But you have to realise that he may not, realistically, ladies, he may not stand up for you at this 
point in the marriage, in yeah. the relationship. Yeah. So you need to say, okay, what is more important? Okay? Me having my small intimate wedding or me making a good impression and just getting along with everybody on the day. So you have to kind of weigh it up. Do you know, I, do you know to what? I totally you disagree speak. with I that. I need to say something. I need you to speak. Come on, Shireen. Say it, Shireen. <laughs> Spit it out. The thing is, right, this is a taster of what life is going to be like. Exactly. exactly. Nip it in the butt from the beginning. <laughs> exactly. I have got to decide. Because it's true. It's mm. true. Let the guy... Like speak to the guy. Maybe he hasn't realised the, the amount of involvement <laughs> the his problem is. So you just speak to the guy. Let's see how he deals with it. Don't put pressure because yeah. you need to see how he's going to deal with to, it. You need to see if who he, he is. If he doesn't deal with it the, the way you want, you've got to analyse. I think she's got to analyse whether mm. this is what she wants because wedding is one day, but it's a very good indicator of how everything is going to be You're married oh. for the rest of your life. Is she going to name your children? <laughs> no, it's exactly. that's the thing. Is she going to name your children? Will is she, she going to be there is all she gonna the time? Is she going to be the one who's going to be in your hands when you're? Delivering thing that baby. The thing is, if I'm you gonna, can, if I'm you can take this, if this is the kind of relationship you're going to be having, <laughs> okay. Right. Some in some cultures, some people it's fine. Mm -hmm. But this lady, she has to analyse whether it, if this is something that she wants, and if it's, if it's something she's gonna, willing, going to be willing to accept in the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's only happening now because it's the wedding, but it can very much take over the whole relationship. Mm -hmm. If this is something that she is not comfortable with, is not happy with, and mm -hmm. it's not looking like the guy's going to yeah. change it, I think she should really evaluate whether she does want to commit to this relationship. Mm. Exactly. I, I do agree with you. I, I think sometimes you've got to look at the long game, okay? A wedding is a day, okay? You, because when you look at, so if you're going to be marrying someone, you're looking at a potential partner, okay? A Indeed. potential life partner. Wedding is one day. You know that after that wedding day, she could be going, mother's going there, family's going there, but he's with you. But it mm. uh, wait, 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 Sam. Depends. When you have this man in your house, married to you, mm. and mother is there, cousin is there, whatever, he's with you. And at that point, you can make your stamp in that relationship Ooh, because he's there I with you at that point you know what you guys i'm sorry we're gonna have to <laughs> let's open this up to you outside let's see we want to hear from you viewers on. let's go to a break for now so we can calm down <laughs> and then when we come back we'll continue with more scenarios Welcome back. We are going through your different scenarios that have been presented to us through your calls and through Facebook and your emails. You can feel free to email us any of your points of discussion, any problem that you're going through, comments at dkw.me. And if we will not have time to answer it um, live here, we'll happily answer it in email. Now, Sam, you've got a scenario, you've got an email. What yes, have you got there? I mean, I mean it's, it's just saying that what would you really do if you found yourself in Bianca's situation? Who's Bianca? A few weeks, a few weeks, Kim. Um, Bianca from East from Fenders. East Fenders isn't oh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I've been watching it. What's been happening with Bianca is this: you know that her son Liam is a teenage boy. He's now um, got himself in the gang, and he is completely aggressive, very disruptive. She's lost complete control as a mum, and she's even doing things she wouldn't normally do, like she hit him. She's doing everything she can try. She even put him in a room, locked his room, to try to stop him from getting involved in the gang. She's desperate. So I think that the, this um, lady here, this mother here, she's going through a similar she's situation and wants to know what can she do to come out of it. Now, I am not a mum, so it's, I can give advice, I but mean, I, I feel I've like... I have been in that situation. Have you, that, Sam? I've Tell got me. a teenage son. He's actually 16 now, and he's totally transformed. He's a totally different boy to die. But I have been in the situation where he became mixing up with bad companies, his character, he became so disrespectful and everything. Else. And as a mother, it's very, very hard because it's so easy to become very emotional about it, take the wrong actions towards, you know, I mean, how can you lock your son in a room? It's not going to work. It's, it's a not gonna, I think it's I a think desperate, desperate You can be so, yeah. and that's the problem. As parents, you can become really, really, I felt very desperate in many many times there's times when I've, I've tried everything possible i've tried to bribe him i've tried to mm. you know many things you know i've tried to shout i've tried to yell i've tried to say right you're not going out you're not doing it try to not give him any funds you and try, none of it works and none no. of it works so what did you do what can she do what i had to do with my particular son um i mean i had to as a mother start to really 
build up a friendship with him, which means that I needed to gain his trust. I needed to, you know, find time, quality time with me and him together, do things with the both of us together, rather than just having to, you know, the natural thing would be to keep telling them off, keep telling them off. I changed that strategy and started to do out of the blue compliments, nice things, buy gifts when he's not expecting it. You know, so I had to change my, my um, body language, my characteristics, how I would deal with it and, and become, like, become more like his friend. And when I did that and I started to build up a trust with him, then he started to open up with me. He started then to enlighten me about things that he was going through at school, like bullying and mm -hmm. things like that. And it wasn't until then I was able to help him. I was able to link him with like um, advisory youth groups, okay. like VYG Youth Group mm -hmm. was one of them mm -hmm. that really, really was able to help my son. He was able to receive advice, guidance. He was able to, you know, um, do fun stuff as a youth, you know, activities that young people. So mm -hmm. rather than wasting his time doing negative things mm -hmm. with his negative, with, with, with negative company, with bad company, he would be more involved in this youth group. Now that took time. Mm. That took time because he's not going to suddenly one day say, yes, I'm going to go there. Mm -hmm. I ha he had to build up that confidence with me. But I had to stop looking at him with bad eyes myself. Mm -hmm. You know, because usually you see your son, your son's a naughty boy. He's not behaving very well. What you do as a parent, you're seeing them. We, 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 you're seeing them. And it's very hard, I can and imagine, to hold back. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard because you're yeah. seeing them doing such bad behavior, doing things, you know, phone calls from school, someone, your teacher's telling you oh, he's not doing very well. And it's very, very hard to see that son, oh, he's a good boy. But you do as a mother, you mm -hmm. have to. You know, there are cases and there are cases. Yeah. And I mean, in your case, with this situation, I believe people can get help in this way. Yes. Um, if you are a mum that you feel like, oh no, I really need more advice than this, I really need more help, more one-to-one -one advice, are you available, Sam, to Yes, to I'm help? available to speak with any, any parents that may need, you know, a word of advice. Or I even can, a connection to this I can actually this youth link group. them yes. even to the VYG as well. They, they do advice and guidance as well, and they're very, very active with mm -hmm. the youths, mm -hmm. you know, and I know a lot of youths have been, even on one of our programs, we've had a youth on our program before, mm -hmm. Shireen, we're a youth who actually went to this VYG mm -hmm. and he received help as well okay. through, through the same scenario. All right, so if you're a parent at home going through a similar situation, you would like more information on how to get in contact with Sam or even yes. with, with this groups that she's talking about, feel free to call us on 0207 and they'll give you the details there or you can email us at comment at dkw.me and we'll email you back then for that information yes. okay all okay. right so who else has got a scenario right um i want to do a, to a popular topic of forgiveness mm. okay this person mm. writes i hear a lot about forgiveness and letting go you can make it sound so easy how can you just let go when someone hurts you so badly okay now now, the thing is, I read this in a book, actually, mm -hmm. a very popular book that, um, that a lot of people are reading at the moment. And he talked about forgiveness. How do you forgive? And what I found was very interesting. He said in this book that, first of all, you've got to forgive in your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because you can't control your feelings. Your feelings do what they want, whatever. Mm. And even though you want to forgive the person, all your feelings are still going to be alive inside of you, thinking, oh, I hate this person, whatever. Mm. But once you start thinking it in your mind, because you're like, you're, it's like that first effort you're making, I'm forgiving here. I'm letting go here. But even though my body and my feelings and my heart are saying something else, I need to make the first step. And the first step has to be within my head. Because we can't necessarily control mm. our yes. feelings. the emotions, isn't it? Mm. Can't I think the it's, emotions. it's very hard to, when you speak about forgiveness, it's mm. very hard, isn't it? Because people yes. say, I forgive, but I don't forget. Yes. I think the forget, <laughs> in a way, the yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. 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 Well, it takes time. time. But the forgiveness has to start here in your head. And then in time, the rest of the feelings and the emotions will 
You have to reason with yourself. This why do you need to forgive? That's what I was going to say. Have to face yeah. It. yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Because forgive. many women, I mean. I mean, women go through a lot. We hear, like, sometimes mm. I watch movies, you know, I'm always wanting to cry, especially when it's true, mm. stories of, of women who've gone through so much in life, been raped, abused, yeah. and mm. then there's this thing, oh, you need to forgive your abuser. You need to forgive the one who raped you. Mm -hmm. You need to, but why? A lot of women will ask that question, why? Maybe mm -hmm. I, I feel powerful by keeping that grudge, by wanting mm -hmm. something to happen. Actually, unless I see revenge or something, I hear that something's happened, I won't feel peace. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women say that. They so carry that justice. They, People need to see justice. They, feel yeah, they need I to hear, see justice. I get that. So yeah. why? This is, I think this is what she's asking. Why are we always on DKW saying, forgive, let go? What, what is the benefits of doing that? Because it's, it's also a healing process. Mm. It, it, you need to be able to let go in order to move on with your life. I've been through so many scenarios where I felt so broken inside and I felt to a point where how on earth am I going to be able to forgive? I'm feeling so much pain at this, at this moment. How am I going to move forward? But, Shireen, it's like this. If you don't, it becomes a deep, deep darkness inside, which can affect your health, which can affect the way you think. You can't think rationally. You know, you, 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 you can make the wrong decisions that can affect your life so deeply that you can hurt another person because of that. And I think, I think forgiveness is something that you do have to face it. You do have to reach that point to forgive that person. It doesn't mean, like what we were saying earlier on, it doesn't mean that you have to be best friends, I have to no, be going to your house. Mm. You've done me a wrong, no. I don't need to be going to your house. No, but you do need to be able to face that person, mm. speak to that person, so that you can move on with it, because the healing's for you. Yeah, mm. I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think the healing is for you. You have to see that is, it's you who is going to benefit for mm. forgiving that person. Mm. Yeah. Because I know it's. You might think you are sitting there and you think that's easy for you to say. You haven't gone through what I have gone through. You didn't have a man raping you or something like that. It's true, I haven't. But you know. Whilst you, you hold that grudge, yeah. mm. it's like he's raping you or abusing you or whatever, true. whatever You're situation lying. is like it's happening on. over and over yes. and yes. over again mm. until you say, no, stop. This is not going to affect my life anymore. Mary jo, That's it. Do you remember that video that we watched with that young lady who, mm -hmm. was, who was raped? I think she was abused by her father at mm -hmm. a young age. Mm -hmm. And when you heard the pain of this woman, yes. do you remember Mary yeah, Jo? I remember it you, as well. you, you could understand where she was coming mm -hmm. from. There's no denying that. You could understand her pain. But the bitterness that she carried throughout the whole of her life, because mm -hmm. she wasn't able to reach that point, she's living now still in pain, mm -hmm. not yeah. being able to, to progress. And she had so much potential, she could do so much she, with her life. That's but it. because of that situation, it's like her life is stuck. It's, it's stuck. like she gives that person power every time over that her. That person yes. has power over her life. And yeah. no one deserves that kind of power. No. No. Every no, woman no. deserves to be a free woman, right? Exactly. And that's the beauty of forgiveness. That's right. Well, maybe you're sitting there at home and you're saying, well, I don't feel like it. I want to, but I really don't feel like forgiving. I don't have the strength. I would like you to give us a call. You can speak to any of us here. You'll be amazed at the kind of situations that we've been through. We've been able you. to overcome mm. by forgiving. Yes. And we're happy to speak about it. We're happy to speak about our flaws and let you know how we overcame in order to help you in your forgiveness journey, which is mm. gradual. Mm. It's not it's overnight, not it's not overnight. Not but it's not worth it. Mm. And if you're one of those people, feel free to email us your details, comments at dkw.me, or give us a call at 0207 686 Do we have time for just one more, one more scenario. Okay, there is a one very funny one here. What is it? Oh, what is it? I think you have my paper. Okay. <laughs> I have this funny one here. It says, I know this girl who ignores me constantly. She cuts her eyes at me. Whenever she sees me, she turns or walks away. But on <laughs> Facebook, it's like we are the best of friends. She likes and comments on everything I post. What's up with that? This is just absolutely crazy. Haven't you been through this I'll before, Shireen? Yeah. It's just well, another time. Really crazy. <laughs> you know, you see the person, you know, they're commenting on everything that you do. And then when they see you, they blank you. They don't want to know. they're just chai. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but I don't know about the dirty looks. Mm. Dirty looks, dirty looks. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. What then about the dirty little wassail? What know. is that all about? Do you know that there are some people that can only be sociable on social networks? Yes. They can't so behind the screen. Like, but they can't be sociable in person. They find it difficult. So what Some should women. she do? Because we need to tell her what to do. I think she. I personally think she should be open with the person and say, do you know, or just be, un, just be unbefriend. You know, I think you can unbefriend someone. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can. And send them a message. I'm unbefriending you because when I see you in person, you don't speak to me. Yeah, oh, However, oh, you're I'm quite rude. <laughs> oh, you're quite rude. That's what I would do. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I, do you reckon? I, think, I think give her a chance first. Yeah. Because you know, sometimes you think people are giving you a dirty look, but they're not really giving you a dirty look. That's true. That's true. That's true. And then Very sometimes true. Maybe people, approach people want to be your friend. They think, it's like, God, I'd love to be that person's friend. Mm. But in real life, when they see the person, they feel so intimidated by yeah. them. They can't really be their friend. And I think if you de unfriended them, it'll make them feel a little bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> With myself, I think I would find it very, very hard to see somebody who I'm speaking with on Facebook and not and not say hello to them. Mm. Because I'm, I, I find myself quite a friendly person. So be aware <laughs> that if you're friending me on, on Facebook, most definitely I'm coming for a hug. <laughs> okay? So I think that's how I'll deal Aww. with it. Oh, it's a lovely one to end on. Thank you very much. Look, thank you ladies for joining us today, for going through these scenarios. We had plenty more to go through and we will be answering your emails. Feel free to send us your video questions, your emails. You can call us and, and tell us about the things that are happening in your life that you'd like to have a solution for. Like I said, we're not experts, mm -hmm. not at all. But we're here to help. But we're here to help. We love to talk and we, love to, we believe that in sharing, opening up, we can help each other to become different kind of women. Right. Better every single day, isn't yes, it? Definitely. And if you keep a problem hidden, it means that you don't really deal with it. And when you don't deal with it, it can eat you away day by day. And you'll never be able to reach your full potential. That's so right. do something different today. Email us your problem. Get another perspective. Comments at dkw.me and we'll be happy to respond. Until next time, see you. Bye-bye.